Welcome to Lachish. Lachish is a, such an amazing place, but uh, we are talking about a tell. Tell it's like layers of cities. City on top of a city, on top of a city, on top of a city. In that matter, it's not so old. I mean, it's old, but no. Because we can actually reach 6,000 years ago. But what is, f uh, what is more important for us is mainly that part, the Israelite the period. Because that is the city that um, was part of Rehavam in Jerusalem, part of the Judean. Uh, country, and when they divided into two groups, uh, two, two uh, um, um, countries, Israel and Judea, the city of Lachish became to be the second most important city of Judea. Later on, it will be destroyed, destroyed by the Assyrian and then by the Persian, then you can see more and more levels of it. Now let's actually walk a little bit to here. It's quite hot, but we will survive. At least I will survive. And you can see Eddie. The, the, the amazing thing about the city of Lachish is that you can find biblical source, archaeological finds, and outside the Bible sources, for example, you can see here um, a beautiful, uh, for example, here you can see the, the, the results, of course it's a replica, of uh, the city of, of Nineveh, where um, when Sennacherib the ruler of, uh, of um, Assyria marked everything on the wall of his palace to show you that the city had been destroyed. And this is, this is amazing because Jerusalem wasn't destroyed by, um, by uh, uh, Sennacherib. Then Lachish, the second most important city, been destroyed. Then in that case, he marked that event of 701 BC in, the, in his palace. In front of you, you can see part of the siege wall that the Assyrian built here in 701. Because from here it was so difficult to, um, or better to say, it was easier to occupy the city from here when the Assyrian built there. Um, siege wall on top of the hill the people of Judea the people of the city built another wall uh, and higher wall to stop them from uh, doing it but as you know they didn't succeed we are climbing up to the main gate but I want you to understand that there are actually two gates there and if we look at the if you look at here, you can see actually those two gates. The lower one is from uh, the kings of Judea that uh, Hezekiah actually used it as well until the, it will been destroyed by, uh, by um, Sennacherib. And the upper one, the one that we will enter through, is actually from... Uh, 639 and it was built by the Babylon at the first temple time or the end of the first temple time then let's climb it up please you can see the siege wall or the siege ramp you must understand that he had the, uh, it was uh, wider than that but the British that excavated destroy part of it and they cover it with uh, dirt that the soldiers and the machines will be able to reach up the top of, uh, 
of uh, the tell and destroy the wall of the city. What you can see from here is the first wall, or actually even the second wall of the city, from Rehav Am time. Remember, after uh, Judea uh, became a different place than uh, Israel. Um, and there's another wall here. And the road, the ramp that we are standing, is on top of the ramp that used to be with, uh, right there. Then it, it, we believe that at the Rehavan there were two towers, one here and one there, but we didn't find it. Uh, but you can see the lower part of it. After the destruction by the Assyrian, they built the Israelite or the Judean people built another entrance. You can see the first tower, second tower. Here in the middle, you will see a drainage uh, tunnel because they have, because usually uh, the gate is in the lower place of the city. Then when we are entering the city, you will see a big yard. Uh, by the way, you can see how we found it with a little bit of help and above the line is actually a renovation. You can see the drainage. Uh, by the way, you can see the Moshav of uh, Lachish and we believe that the uh, Assyrian army was there, sadly, but we didn't find a lot. Look at the vineyard here. Then the first thing that you will see is the entrance yard of uh, the fortress. Then we are now entering into the main yard, which is before the city, and you can see how it looks like. And let me show you Uh, just after the entrance, as I believe you can see that yard. And this is one of the guarding rooms. And here we found at least 20 ostracons, which are a clay uh, with inscription on it. This is a big one, but this is letter number four that told us that uh, about the last minutes of um, of the city at the time of the Babylon, just before the Babylon actually uh, destroyed the city. And you can actually, yeah, you can read it a little bit. My God calls my Lord, I think you can see it. And I don't know if you can hear on the, uh, above us, there's kind of an IDF airplane. Because cannot see as a kite means that that city been already destroyed. Most of the Ostrogons are uh, um, army letters. Beautiful, isn't it? Remember, it's not only the Bible that tells us a lot about Lachish. It's about so many other things, uh, so many other finds. And it's beautiful to see that it's actually combined each other. There's, um, I mean, it looks like someone... Only one person wrote everything, and it's one sentence, one story that tells us that the Bible is a true thing. We are reaching the inner gate, and I wanted to say that it was built and actually been destroyed by Sennacherib. And um, it was made of six rooms in a way and you can see it beautifully right here three here and three there and you can see that the way is not straight ahead it's uh, difficult to enter let's enter the first one now the Plaster is is actually uh, original. 
and you can see the sits. It's like three sits here. And the way to put your hand next to it, and there's another two. And the other side, you could see another three, but the wall that was built after uh, the conquest of Sennacherib uh, destroyed that gate because they didn't use that gate anymore. And this is real. Can you understand that? The Bible is real. Should I need to convince you with that? I'm not sure. Um, then that we found here a lot of destructions uh, uh, at the time of the Sennacherib and uh, uh, found a lot of vases with uh, um, uh, that was kind of a tax that we got from in the Hezekiah. Uh, got from all over uh, Israel, uh, all over Judea, when he prepared himself to the uh, war with the Assyrian. Around 700, uh, 705, he actually de declared about, I'm better than anyone else, and uh, uh, my God is better than the Assyrian God, and then Sennacherib decided to show you who is better. Then he prepared the uh, cities, and, of course, Jerusalem to that war. Let's go outside to the third um, room. And the third room is a, a quite an important thing. Uh, first of all, it's original, although the lower part of the room was built with big stones. You can see it here. The upper one, is, the upper one was built with... Uh, um, mud sto uh, stones, the blocks, then in that case it was covered with plaster and what we did is we built another wall here to protect the inner wall which is actually original than the wall more or less is original but let's enter to here and what we can see here is something that we didn't know for so many years what we know or what we think now is that that was another Judean temple. Um, I think about the city of uh, Arad, we found uh, some of them, and people used to worship it. But Hezekiah, uh, after the destruction of Israel, knew that he must do something. Then he changed the rules and said, there's only one temple, there's only one capital, and this is Jerusalem. And he asked the uh, Jerusalem people to reach uh, uh, the Israeli people to even to visit them um, and what he did he destroyed all the, um, um, the uh, temples the Judean temples that used to be there and just like Jehu the, um, that that built toilets instead of um, the pagans uh, temple he what we believe did the same thing that's what we found this is the original one, of course, and you can see the scholar, Tsar, which found it, and, and this is the toilet. I mean, it's a replica of it. They checked what is beneath it, because, you know, they can actually study a lot from number two, and they found nothing. They found nothing because I'm sure that the people who worshipped that place before decided not to use it. Then they blocked it, maybe with that wall, and that's why we found it like that. Whoa, we're heading to the temple, which is right there. It's not, it's sorry, it's a palace. Then let's climb, and you will see 22 seats, 22 kings, and uh, the names of the kings. And if it's a big one, it means that he controlled uh, Judea more than the others. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful tour, isn't it? It's only so hot. I'm sweating as hell, but I don't mind because what I'm actually doing is I'm going with a, a, the one who excavated here. Then every word is worth a lot, and I want you to know it. Then when you will visit the city of Lachish, with me or without me, you will understand everything. Try not to be here in early September.
All right, one, two, three, and we are going to be there. You can see where we came from. You can see the gate, the inner gate. But we are next to the most important building of Judea. This is the palace of the kings of Judea. That part and the other part, you could see more storerooms, but you can see the facade or the, uh, the, the plaza of it, of the palace. And you can see how big it is. And it was around 13 dunams. This is part of it as well. You can see the um, uh, thorns of the kings. There are 20 kings here. Um, but we had 22 kings of uh, Judea. And uh, because David, uh, King David and Solomon weren't uh, here at... Uh, at um, uh, now, if it's a higher band, it means that he rules uh, rule the place longer. Look at this yaw. A matzia, if you're talking about a matzia, that's where he died, murder, and that is um, uh, another village of today that's called a matzia. The stairs used to be there, the lower part. The upper part, of course, it's, uh, it's um, a new one. And you can see Etty again. You can go from there, Etty. Um, there's not a lot to see at the palace. Nothing actually left, but I want you to see that nothing left, except of a beautiful view. And some stones. Uh, from the Bibli Bibliant time. That and that. Oh, the breeze is amazing here. Let's go to see the siege wall, but this time from the Lachish part. Remember, we are trying to defend, we are trying to stop the Assyrian from uh, entering the village. And you can see that they are so far away. And I need to run to reach them. Yeah, it's hot. But yes, it's so important to see. Then you will see me there in less than three, two, one. Look at the uh, St. Caribe prism. It's from 16, 691. Uh, before you can find it at the Israeli Museum. And you can actually read about this, what the Assyrian think, thought about the uh, Hezekiah. That he had 46 fortress. Um, and other places. Oh, we do have it in English as well. As Hezekiah the Judean of 46, 45 wall cities. And the idea is that he occupied most of them, but not Judea, not Jerusalem. And <laughs> of course, I will, you will read it in English, I will read it in Hebrew. And this is the Hebrew one. Yeshayahu Lamed Vav 36. Vahi ba'ar ba'esra shana la'melech Hizkiyahu ala sancheriv melech Hashur sancheriv al kol arei Yehuda mevuzorot ve'itfasam. Ve'eshlach melech Hashur et Ravashka melechish Yerushalma el melech Hizkiyahu, Hizkiyahu Chazakaya. בחיל כבד ויעמוד בתעלת הבריכה העליונה במסילת שדה כובש. And just to show you where we are, this is Lachish, the Mediterranean Sea, Judea, and one more thing is that you can actually understand why, why it's so important. First of all, this is the Sanfari campaign from the north to here. Uh, Philistines area and then Lachish and then Jerusalem but you can see the, the, the idea this is the northern part 
Assyrian. Those are the Egyptian. This is Europe of today. And if you want to go from here to there, you cannot cross the desert. If you want to go from here to Europe of today, you cannot uh, miss uh, Jerusalem, uh, Israel. Then in that case, you must occupy Israel. If you want to have power, this is the things that you must do. Well, we reached the top and I can see that I had to climb a little bit from here. From the other side, you had to climb as well. The, the question is why, and I think I started the tour today because the uh, Roman siege is down there. And uh, at the beginning, they tried to stop the Assyrian, sorry, not Roman, Assyrian uh, camp, uh, is a, a Syrian uh, uh, siege uh, ramp is down there. You can see them trying to climb up. What the Jews did after they didn't stop them from doing it, they built another wall here. That's why it's actually higher. It is higher, you can see it looks like a valley. And you can see the group walks down. Then um, they are walking down, but yeah, it used to be, I mean, uh, the wall, when the wall wasn't there, it was more or less at the same height. You can see the palace from here. And it's beautiful, I must say. It's totally hot, I'm dying. But I think it, it was worth it then. First of all, if you like that video, it's not the end of it, you will see a little bit more, uh, then don't forget to subscribe hit. And if you want to support my channel, because I'm not working, the group that you actually you saw now, it's a group of uh, uh, Israeli tourists that study how to guide evangelist Christians. Um, that, that place is so important for Jews and the evangelists and Protestants as well. Then in that case, we started from there, we climbed up to the gate, the outside gate, the lower gate, the upper gate. But if you want to support me, you can do that by, look at that, next to that button, you will find uh, um, uh, a shape of a hard button that you can actually support me via YouTube at the description, the text beneath, you will find more information about Lachish and two more uh, links of buy me a coffee and PayPal. You are the only income of mine. And that, uh, that beautiful uh, uh, tools that I will take, uh, um, actually that evangelist uh, studies will be for at least three months and it cost me a lot of money that I don't have. But uh, uh, this is my option to study and to give you more in my YouTube channel and more in my, um, uh, as a tour guide, if you will hire me. Remember the gate? Then you can see the gate and you can see the city of Lachish. According uh, to the Chronicles. You know what? Let me, let us read again. Yeah, and, uh, no, I will read the English, uh, the Hebrew one, which is there. Then it's the Assyrian camp. Sanchariv, the Assyrian king, Sanakarib, Sanchariv in Hebrew, the king of Ashur, Assyrian, that's Hebrew, Ashur, Kavait HaMachanei HaMakazi BeLachish, Lachish, where, where, where it is, where it is, Mikan Shalach Chel Mishloch LeYerushalayim Al Minat Lachnea Et HaMelech Hizkiyahu, Asher Bitmichat HaNavi Yeshayahu Sirev Leikana. לפי הסיפור המקראי ניצלה ירושלים בדרך נס. ההיסטוריה, oh, that's not from the Bible, I thought it's going to be the Bible, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not. But you know what? ההיסטוריון האבני אורודוטוס במאה החמישית לספירה גורס כי הייתה מגיפת עכברים. Remember Jerusalem, suddenly something happened. But now we can read it. Uh, two kings. And let me, uh, 19. That's the Hebrew, that's the English. ויהי בלילה הוא ויצא מלאך ויח במחנה אשור מאה ושמונים וחמישה אלף וישכימו בבוקר והנה כולם פגרים מתים וישא וילך וישב סנחריב מלך אשור וישב בנינווה 
ויהי הוא משתהווה בית נשרוך אל האב ועדר מלך ושרת שר בניו, הכו בחרב, והמה נמלטו ארץ ערערת, וימלוך השר חדן בנו תחתיו. What we know is that so many people died um, in Jerusalem. I'm not talking about the, 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 the Israelite, the Judean people. I'm talking about the Assyrian. And by the way, somewhere there we found 800 skulls of people maybe died here when uh, 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 Sennacherib actually um, tried to occupy, actually succeeded to occupy it. Uh, but let me tell you something. Maybe we lost the war. Jerusalem been saved, but we lost the war here, we lost the war there. But here we are. Look at the beautiful Moshav, Lachish. And you can see me, I'm part of, uh, the, uh, of Israel. And Israel is exist. Israel is flourish. It's a war time again, remember? It's a war time between us and the bad guys at Gaza Strip and Lebanon. And, uh, but we will win. You will be able to reach back to Israel. You will be able to, um, to visit all those places and I will be ready to be with you. I want you to see one more thing before we are saying goodbye, because you saw only the small part on the, the even not the storerooms, the, the, the plaza of the, the lower plaza of the palace. I want you to see how it looks like and then we will say goodbye. Although I will continue down through places that you saw, then I just, if you want to watch it, I will try to be quiet. Yeah, you know me, it's difficult to be quiet. Then let me show you. Yeah, at the end of it, I will show you the map of uh, Lachish and I will describe you everything that we did. But we are getting closer to the palace. And look how beautiful it was. It was huge. Look at the three stores. And that's how Lachish used to be looked like. We are missing those places. Then we are going to the exit, but at the lower part, if I remember correctly, there's a map of uh, the places that we visited, and you will understand it's going to be like an aerial point of view of the city. Remember what's that? That's the inner gate that been destroyed by Sennacherib. And later on, behind it, you can see the wall of the city that was built later on. It took the, the Jews here one, at least one generation to recover. Remember the toilet slash temple is the first room to the left. Administrative room is the last one, which is the first one, just before we are going out. You saw the beautiful uh, benches there with two seats, three seats, right there. Original, my friend. Original. And the yard, which is right here. At the, the gate, the old people, the smart one, the job, people who judge people. Uh, judge uh, the, the citizens with their mer merchandise. It's kind of a market then. You can see the market. Remember the ast astrocons, the pochers with the inscription that we found here. And this is the after, the, uh, this is the gate uh, that's been destroyed at the Babylon time. But beneath it is Hezekiah. It's actually not Hanukkah, it's Judea. Remember, it is. Then let me go backward. And I want you to meet at least two people that I know, which are very good friends of mine. Ami. Ami is the right one who, who talks more than me. And he must tell there anyone that he's wrong because he knows everything. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't. 
I don't say nobody did. Everyone there. Right. Okay, but now Everyone you know. Right. I mean, he's an amazing player, a guy. And uh, Itamar. Ah! Itamar, you know Itamar. <laughs> <laughs> you know Itamar. He disappeared for a little bit. He disappeared a little bit, but he promised to. Uh, we'll recall. get back to it. We'll get and back to the it. site, or the, the YouTube site of Itamar is. Uh, no, oh, I forgot this, it. Uh, you see, I didn't do it for a very long time. Uh, Moses, Moses nephew, nephew, Itamar. And uh, that guy I met only today. Hi. And your name is Amir. Amir. Amir and in this uh, area. Because yeah. And we decided to study together uh, to be a better tour guide just for you. Are you waiting to see the map diagram of that city? And then I will, I promise to go to drink two liters of water. And. Uh, if you want to see how I look like now, ready? Oh, that's me. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. תגידו לי רק רגע, אני פה לא הייתי. מה הוא דיבר על המערה הזאת? רגע, רגע, רגע. עזוב אחז. מה הוא דיבר על המערה פה? שאני אגיד להם. מה זה מערת המייסדים? אלה שבנו, עשו להם זולה פה. מי בנו? אלה שבנו... מתי? מאה עשירית? מאה עשירית? כן. לפני? אוקיי, אז עשו להם מערה? היה לפה מערה, שכנראה פה הם התגוררו בזמן שבנו את העיר. אורייט. Okay. Then there was a cave here. Do you, know, do you know how to say it in English, Amir? No, he's, you're a German guy. In German. Then the, there's a cave here of the foundation, the one who built uh, the hotel, the first one at 10th century BC, if I'm not wrong. Here it is. Here it is. You can see. The entrance, we are here, and now we actually enter to the first gate. We entered to see the second gate, and then we went to see the palace. And from here, we went to see the siege uh, ramp, which is, guess where? Right there. Then I think you know everything about it. Thank you very much for being with me. If you actually watched everything and if it's okay, please uh, tell me that. Because I'm trying to listen to everything that the scholars sir, say, then it might be a little bit uh, 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 broken. But I think uh, altogether you got the um, story from the one who excavated here, Mr. Saar. Thank you. Bye-bye.